Galileo Galilei, Vladimir Ilyich Lenin, Che Guevara. All of these are examples of radicals. And so is this. Because we've got a radical symbol here with a little 3 in it, that means the cube root of 8. That means that that is equal to 2. Now, all radicals do really is irritate uh, irritate people. Well, that's not true. Uh, but what radicals end up doing in calculus is being kind of a pain. This symbol can be actually written in exponential notation as 8 to the exponent 1 third. So, my recommendation is any time that you see this radical notation, you change it to exponential notation just as quickly as you can. Here's another mixture of, uh, another fine example of a mixture of radical and exponent, exponent notation, and so we've got the cube root of 8 squared. You can evaluate these in any order that you want. So, in other words, you can square the 8 and then take the cube root, or you can take the cube root of 8 and then square the result, and you will end up with the same result. To convert this into exponent notation, that is equal to that. Okay, so that's equal to 8 to the exponent 2 thirds, and so the cube root of 8 is 2, and 2 squared is equal to 4. By far the biggest mistake that people make is evaluating the exponent incorrectly. If you're entering these in your calculator, I recommend that you enter the exponent with brackets. So you would probably enter 8 and then you might have a y to the x key or an x to the y key and then put in brackets 2 divided by 3. And the last example that we're going to be looking at of course in calculus is going to be this general case where we have an x rather than an actual number and this can be rewritten as x to the exponent two-thirds, and if you're in calculus, you're going to be taking the derivative of that, and that becomes two-thirds x to the exponent negative one-third when we take the derivative, just because we can still use the power rule on it.